Hi, boys and girls, fifth graders. We're going to be doing today Unit 5, Lesson 3, Thousands in Expanded Form. Our goal today is to represent thousands. Which one doesn't belong? So I have 26 divided by 100. This I can read as 26, and this ends in the hundredths place, so this is 26 hundredths. This is 26 times zero tenths hundredths thousand, so 26 times a thousandth. And then I have two times one tenth plus six times one hundredth. So which one doesn't belong? Well, I can say that A doesn't belong because it's the only one without decimals, right? Here has a decimal, here's a decimal, and here's a decimal. I could say B because B is the only one that has no operation. It's just an answer. Yeah. I could also choose C. C is the only one that doesn't have a value of 26 hundredths. So if I multiply this times this, I would get 26 thousandths. Or I could say C doesn't belong. I'm sorry, D, because it's the only one that is not one term. Right? We have a lot of different terms there. And then there's a sum. It's the only one that has addition in it. Okay, let's see what they ask us about this warm-up. How is this expression different from the others? Well, I can see that it's written as a sum. The different place values are written separately, right? Today we're going to represent decimal numbers in this way. Okay, here's our first activity. Explain or show why the shaded region represents four. I'm going to remember that that's there. Whoops. Sorry about that. Four. So this should be over here. Four. And we'll just ignore that. Four times one tenth plus one times one one hundredth plus nine times one one thousandth. Well, I can see that each of these is a tenth and there are four of them, right? One tenth, one tenth one-tenth and one-tenth. So four one-tenths and then I have one one-hundredth and then I have nine one-thousandths. What decimal number represented, represents the shaded region? Well, if I have four hundredths, I can write that at four in the tenths place, I'm sorry, four tenths and one in the hundredths place, and then nine in the thousandths place. Okay, I think we did that one. Let's move on to the next. Shade the grid to represent eight times one tenth, plus three times one one hundredth, plus five times one one thousandth. So this must mean that I have eight tenths. So I'm going to shade that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all of this, eight tenths. And just quickly shade that. Alrighty. And then I have three hundredths. Those are these small squares, right? So three of these. And then five one thousandths. So one, two, three. It's about half, right? Okay. Write the number eight. So eight in the tenths place, three in the hundredths place, and five in the thousandths place. Nice. So my says that the decimal one hundred five thousandths represents one times ten a tenth times five times a hundredth. Do you agree? No, because this is in the thousandths place. So this should be a thousandth. This is a hundredth, right? Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, tenths, hundredths. So no, I don't agree with my. I don't think she wrote that correctly. I can see where she would make that mistake because there's a zero here in the hundredths place. What part of the diagram shows eight times one-tenth? 
Well, again, I have 8 tenths shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tenths shaded. What part of it shows 3 hundredths? Over here is my 3 one hundredths. What part of the diagram shows 5 times a thousandths? The five tiny shaded pieces because they're each thousandths. What does the five in 105 represent? Five thousandths. Five thousandths, right? Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. I can write 105 thousandths as one times five, uh, one tenth, five times a thousandth to show that one tenth and five thousandths. This is called the expanded form. Did you notice that they did not write zero times a hundredth in this one? You can write that or you can leave it out because it's going to have the same value. Okay. What are some different ways we can represent the number shown in the diagram? Well, we have lots of different ways we can write that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven tenths. Sorry about that. And one, two, three, four hundredths. And then it looks like two thousandths. So I could write it that way. I could also write 742 over a thousand. And then I can do what they did earlier. We could say seven times one tenth plus four times one hundredth plus two times one thousandth. And remember that's called expanded form. So there's lots of different ways I could write that number. Okay. I could also write it in words, couldn't I? I could write, let's do that, seven hundred Seven, no, 742. So we write it just like we say it, 742 thousandths. Yeah, so I could write that in words, expanded form as a decimal and as a fraction. There are four ways to write that number. All right, now we're going to represent each number in as many ways as you can. Very good. So again, I think this is the same picture. Let's look at it. One, oops, sorry about that, girls and boys. Let's get my pencil out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundredths, seven tenths, sorry, seven tenths, one, two, three, four hundredths, and two thousandths. And then we just represented that two different ways, right? Or four different ways, 742 over 1,000. We could write the expanded form, which would be 7 times 1 tenth plus 4 times 1 hundredth. Make sure we get that decimal in there. It doesn't matter or it just doesn't count. And then 2 times 1 thousandth. There we go. And then I could write it in words, 742, oops, I spelled that, didn't I? There we go, 42, that's an R, thousandths. That THS is very important. Okay. So we have to represent this in other ways than this. Well, I know that this, this is 477 thousandths. I can write that as tenths, hundredths, thousandths. I can draw it in four tenths. Seven hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven thousandths would be seven little square rectangles, tiny rectangles, right? Okay. And then I could do expanded form, four times a tenth, plus four 
plus 7 times a hundredth plus 7 times a thousandth. Okay, and then I could write it in words. 400, and I'm going to write it just like I say it, 477. And then I'm going to give the place value, thousandths. THS, that's really important, really important to write. All right, 160. 36 thousandths. So if I were to write that 136 thousandths or 136, that means there's one tenth. And notice I wrote that before I ever started drawing. Three hundredths and six thousandths. Okay, so I have it two ways. It's already in word form, so let's do expanded form. 1 times 1 tenth plus 3, 3 hundredths times 3 hundredths plus 6 thousandths, so 6 times 1 tenth hundredths thousandths. That is expanded form. All right, and then they did one in expanded form. So the first thing I'm going to write is as a fraction. So three tenths, so I have to write a zero first, six hundredths, and eight thousandths. That means I'm going to have to shade in three tenths. One, two, three. Six hundredths. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then almost a whole for thousands, right? Eight thousandths. All right, so another way I could write that is a fraction. And then in word form, it would be three. I'm going to write it just like I say it, 368. And then what place value is it in, in? Thousands. Whoops. All right, good work, boys and girls.